Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video on how to access our support portal. So Cloud9 ERP Solutions is known for its responsive support services. And one of the ways we do that is by using a support portal which gives you complete access to all your support tickets and their statuses. Gives you ability to communicate information back and forth with our techs. And it also gives you the ability to exchange information like attachments, videos, screenshots, and these kinds of things make it really easy to make sure you're one step closer to getting a solution. So the first thing is you see our Cloud9 ERP website, I'll make that a little bigger. And in the upper right hand corner, we have a client support link. So if you click on that, you'll see a few buttons here that allow you to get to new open and closed cases. So you can click on new case. The other option is you can simply always go to support.cloud9erp.com and you can get to this portal. Now I was already logged in, so it brought me in. And you can see along the left hand side, we have different things, favorites. This looks very much like Acumatica. We have the ability to go to profile. So if you want to change your contact information. And if we go to support, here's where you can create a new support ticket add that to the favorites if you'd like. You could see your open cases or click on closed cases and take a look at those. So if I click on new case I have a few options here. The first thing is is the priority. So based on your urgency a medium case is typical. Low is something that is a back burner type item just information you'd like to know. And then high means it significantly impacts your business. Cloud9 ERP Solutions prioritizes its cases to respond to its high priority cases quicker. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select a contract and then we'll select our class ID. We'll give it a subject heading. We'll give it a description. So this is the details of the case. Under attributes, you'll see attributes that help define the case, that help to provide our tech with information that may be beneficial. Now, some of this information is not mandatory, but you can add it. Required for Go Live is an attribute that's used for customers in implementation. So currently, this particular contract is for implementation, therefore that option shows there. We have different things like screen supported. So what area of Acumatica do you need assistance with? The Acumatica version, you'll see all the latest versions here up to date. Or the individual build number, if you need to put that in there. And then we'll also update you with the Acumatica version that a certain thing is fixed in. So for example, let's say you report an issue, it turns out to be a bug will update you in the current version that that bug has been corrected. But to move forward, we'll click on submit. And now our case is created. Now a couple of different things you can do to continue to update your tech with information. The first is you can add an attachment. So let's say for example, I need a screenshot to help with this case. What I can do here is click on the files button. I can browse for the file and upload it. And that file will show up here. The other thing you can do is you can take that file and simply drag and drop it to the file name area, this whole area here. So then once you close it, you'll see the file, it says number one, which means there's one file attached. And this will be communicated to your tech. Lastly, you can add a comment here. So if I click add comment and I say, for example, second file attachment, I can also drag and drop a file to this area and you'll see the files will automatically change. Now, the other way you can do it is the same thing, the same file dialog box, which allows you to browse and upload or drag and drop. Then once I save and close, this will add another activity. Now, this is also the way that you add additional comments to the case. So you can add any comments that you need to, and you'll, you'll see also the updates from your tech and the questions that are there. 
Now typically Cloud9 ERP Solutions techs will email you. So you'll see the emails and they won't only show up here but they'll show up in your inbox. Now once this case has been started and you get an email from a tech, you can simply reply from your email program, whether that be Outlook or whatever you're using, and that reply will automatically get put in here. So you don't have to keep coming back here to add additional comments, but it is a good idea to take a look and see what the latest status is. Any attachments you add in a reply of an email will also show up here under the attachment and will be communicated to the tech. Now a few other things here. This gives us the information about the date reported, the last activity date, Currently this is new, it has not been assigned yet, but you'll see this will change as a tech picks it up. The priority is what we set, the medium priority. However, Cloud9 ERP solutions may determine what the severity is after they completed a review of the case and maybe communicated to you a few questions back and forth. So that's the support case portal. This gives you the ability to see all your cases, you can take a look at all of them and see what the status is. If we go back to support and look at open cases, we can see all of our cases. See, I have me checked. So this gives you a really good way of keeping track of your only cases if others in your company also create support tickets. You can see all your cases here, their current status. You can do a search here. So if I want to search maybe by the subject heading, I can do a quick search. You can see that. I can filter by contract if you have multiple different contracts. Cloud9 separates contracts based on whether or not the services fall under its unlimited help desk, under implementation, or under maybe a customization project that you may be working on with us. So that's it. If you have any additional questions about how to use our support portal, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.